everyone, this is uh, Joey from TLD Travels, uh, back with a new video today. We are checking out a video that I have seen in the past, uh, quite a while back now. And it's the first time meeting uh, with a long distance relationship in the Philippines. And it's Tom and Mel Jan meeting for the first time as a couple. So we will jump right in and uh, thank you for joining for the journey. Well guys, the time has finally come. I'm heading back to the Philippines to see MJ. I've been here in Bangkok for the last three months. The last few days I've just been sorting out like the, all the documents. One health pass to go back to the Philippines. I had to go and get obviously the PCR tests and everything done so I can get the flight. So I was doing all that the last couple of days. Let's get going and see what it's like to travel to the Philippines during these times. morning beautiful people it is a beautiful morning here in Cebu City and I'm here with my sister hi good morning okay so this is the day that I have been waiting for and I think some of you have been waiting for it has been one year and three months actually that I have been waiting for this moment to come and finally it's here and I absolutely cannot believe that uh, it's happening it's finally happening so so today we're gonna be heading to the airport. We're yeah. gonna <laughs> <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so actually yeah, so actually my sister doesn't know, my mom doesn't know, none of my family doesn't know that Tom is actually arriving today. So we do have one hour to travel hour. to the airport. Oh my gosh, he's finally here guys. This is it. So we have kept this as a secret. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be picking Tom in the airport. Actually, he landed in the Philippines last night, so he had a 12 hours layover in Manila. I'm feeling so happy at the same time nervous because I absolutely do not know the route going to the airport, but Google Map will help us, of course. The people that only knew about it is actually Vingle and Lynn and Mike as well, who is the owner of the condo that I'm currently staying in because we're gonna be staying there as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me and come on let's go It's made it to Swanapum Airport. I've got a three hour flight to Manila then a 12 hour layover in Manila till I go to Cebu. Just be happy and excited guys when I get there. I just wish travel was back to how it was before where you just book the plane ticket, go to the airport, get on the plane and arrive. None of this crap that's going on now. It's it's making travel quite painful and people are like postponing going traveling because of it. But hopefully this year it gets back to somewhat normal. So guys, I made it through. I got my tickets pretty easy. <coughs> Okay guys, so we've made it on the plane. It doesn't actually seem too busy at the minute, so that's good. <coughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know why. But yeah, hopefully everything will go well. Actually, when he landed last night in Manila, he got a stamp already in immigration. And I think he actually uh, did a vlog for that entire experience of him traveling to the Philippines. So if you guys are interested to, you know, uh, check out that video, you can go to his channel, Roaming Hogan. And also you can go to our channel. Yes, we do have our joint channel, which is Tom and Mel Jean. It is where we're going to upload our meeting, first meeting uh, with each other in a long distance relationship. Okay, we're in the bridge now, Marcelo Fernand Bridge. So, almost there. Guys, I've made 
deep through now. I'm in the departure place <coughs> in Manila Airport to go to Cebu. I'm totally knackered. That's why like, my brain is not working properly. Yeah, pretty tired now. I haven't slept. It's already like 3 a.m. as I've made it on the plane from Manila to Cebu. It is already 7 in the morning and um, Tom will be landing in 40 minutes. We just parked. It's only 7 so we have an hour to wait. I cannot wait. Awesome. Uh, terminal 1 arrival. Thank you. Now exiting the parking lot. We paid 50 pesos for about 15 minutes. Hello. Oh my god, the suspense. We're not allowed to get inside yet. The aircraft hasn't landed. We paid 50 pesos already, you know, and I don't want to go back there. Guys, we had to go back here in the parking lot because the security guard won't let us in. Okay, we're gonna have to wait until he messaged me and say that he landed. Guys, I've arrived in Cebu. Now time to go and find MJ and hopefully everything goes smooth and I can get out the airport easy enough. Guys, we are here. We're gonna look for Tom. Okay, we have to park the car. Where is this guy? Where are you, Baba? parking two times because we went here already and the guard wouldn't let us in because the the aircraft hasn't landed so we had to go around and pay another 50 what the fudge you're here i'm scared what? i'm scared no baby you drive <laughs> oh seat belt please <laughs> yeah okay. for sure seat belt um we're gonna need to have a navigator are you gonna be my nav navigator because I don't know where's the way. You want to start fighting already? <laughs> okay, I'll oh. let my sister. Boo boo. <laughs> crazy. I can't believe you're here. It looks different, here. isn't it? In real, when you see on the phone. Yeah. You look different. Yeah, and I thought, yeah, I was like, what? I look different? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying different too. What? Yeah. No. Okay, let's go. Baba, don't oi, because I'm gonna be nervous. Baba. <laughs> oh. Tired, Welcome back to Cebu. <laughs> I was stressing in Manila Airport though. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I was like, Crazy. I was like, I cannot, I was so tired and I was like, I cannot deal with this woman now. Yeah. 
she does not understand anything, you know? And then the guy just said, oh, it's okay, it's okay. So how's my driving? <laughs> I will tell you in a minute. Why, Baba? <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you look so different. I don't know why. It's like your face is very small. Yeah, you look different too. That's the first thing I said to you. So, what oh, you the weird. fudge? I look weird! <laughs> you, you look you look so like fat face on the camera, isn't I it? I know, yeah. you as well. That's so crazy. Okay, navigator please. Come on, man. Let's say hi. Oh, no. I was thinking, like, will I just stand there? Then I was like, I can see a red car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I'm so tired to walk, you know? I was thinking, oh, if it's the wrong car, I have to walk back. I'm... <laughs> but, but you're so small. You're like thin. Hey, hey, hey. I know, like, she's gonna stop. Jesus Christ. Baba, man. I thought you were gonna, gonna kill someone. <laughs> Baba, I can see her. Just be aggressive. Go, go, just go. 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 <clears throat> I just go. Okay. <laughs> it's quiet, no? Welcome to Cebu. <laughs> you look so different. <laughs> What the fudge? I'm a little tired, man. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I haven't slept for like 25 hours, 26 hours. I know, right? So, mom actually doesn't know as well, so she'll be in shock. <laughs> and Scarlett too. You've been in Manila Airport before, right? Yeah. It's crazy there. Yeah. I think it's more like um, because there's like a lot of flights in Manila. You know? Are you hungry? So bad. So, so. Are you gonna, do you want to eat? I, I, I had no. I did. I, I, uh, I cannot even talk. In the airport, you know, so hungry and only Jollibee was open, and I was like, oh, I really don't want to eat Mas Jollibee. Please. What? Mas. Really? Yeah, These, there, Bureau of Quarantine. You're supposed to be there. Is that where you're taking me? <laughs> yeah, so, get off now. Not with quarantine. So. <laughs> Yeah, Scarlett is just in the oh, toilet. Oh, look, look, look. Is <laughs> <Kizani>. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Happy birthday. <laughs> look, Happy tato. birthday. Tato. Say to the Bless to the Bless. Hi. Good girl. And then to the now. I want to kiss you, but I cannot because I need to do that. I'm so stinking. Bye-bye. She did. I'm surprised with Scarlett. I thought she was going to be like, mm. We have arrived here in the condo. Now, see? I have someone that can lift the water. Drop it. <laughs> and he dropped it in the parking. Okay, wait. I'll... We are finally here, everybody. Someone is finally in Cebu. <laughs> so this is the place. Oh. Tired. Are you tired? Yeah. He had 12 hours layover in Manila. 24 hour travel <laughs> for a 3 hour flight. Imagine that. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm gonna give Tom a little tour. So this is the dining. This is the kitchen area and so we can cook. Kitchen. Yes! Really? <laughs> okay, this is the entertainment section. So we have here a really nice couch. Entertainment section, big TV, and ta da! <laughs> Representing. <laughs> okay, let's get inside here. Bye bye. So, this is the second bedroom. No one's occupying this one. And it has a really nice view. The bed is like literally in the window, you know, so that's nice. You can like see the whole city from here, really, no? Yeah. And then over here, this is the no, guest the bathroom. This one. This? Yes guest bathroom 
Ta-da! Oh, it has like two bathrooms. Yeah, two bathrooms. It's nice, right? Mm -hmm. And then here we have the utility room. So we're, we're not going to open that. This is the master's bedroom. Ta-da! <laughs> so there you go. It has a spare bed. And this then, is where the magic happens. <laughs> the master's ensuite. Ta da! This is there where you the go. magic happens. Okay. And then we have the laundry bag. Let's see? If you go here, you can see National Bookstore Mango Avenue. You wow, love the National Bookstore. <laughs> I know, right? Fuente Circle. See, it's very hot outside already. So, Tom has finally settled in here. Welcome to Cebu. I kept saying that. Welcome to Cebu. I'm Welcome still so tired. You've been awake for 24 hours. Anyway, we're gonna be ending the vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know you guys have been waiting for us to meet, and here it is. And sorry, we had to keep it a secret. <laughs> But again, we're sharing it to you guys, so thank but, you so much. But we much. didn't know for that long. It's kind of quick when I booked the flight and gone. True, exactly. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you are going to continue to watch us in this channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Very good outro. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, nice. So, oh, man. I can remember the feeling that I had meeting Lovely for the first time. But it was such a mixture of excitement, adrenaline, nervousness, anticipation, eagerness. All these things mixed together and then landing in Manila and then all the shenanigans with all the COVID nonsense and missing my flight to uh, Tatabam and having to run around like a head of chicken because no one in that airport would help. Stumbling across a Civilian Pacific store and then them picking and choosing who they serve and then just closing stupidly early. And then having to buy another flight. And then the nonsense didn't stop there. Because when I bought the ticket, it said that luggage was included. But then they refused to acknowledge that. And then having to pay for the luggage to be sent. And after landing in Tactaban, I'd say a good over half, between half and three quarters of the plane, didn't have their luggage because they had not put it on the plane. But, so I didn't get my luggage until the following day, midish afternoon. And then obviously had to wait, I had, had a night by myself and I had to wait for the following day to finally see her. And just, man, just the feeling of relief being able to finally see her after all the time we'd been talking online, video calls and messages and everything else in between and just being able to finally see her face to face, spend time with her, hug her, cuddle her, hold her hand, kiss her and tell her that I love her. Just can't wait for April to come round so I can do it all again. And if there's anyone else in this situation, please feel free to drop a comment down below and uh, let us know your experiences of how uh, your long distance relationships have been and doesn't have to be in the Philippines it could be anywhere from anywhere just like to know how other people deal with long distance relationships and how they make theirs work and thank you very much for watching if you like what you see or would like to see more please don't forget to check out our other videos uh, one of my most recent videos just to the left one of the most recent playlists to the right and uh be sure to share the video, drop a comment down below if there's anything you want to check out, smash the subscribe button, tap the bell notification uh, so you never miss a video, and just a quick thank you to all the new subscribers, we've now reached 76, which is insane, uh, only 24 to go till we reach 100, so thank you very much for watching, we'll catch you in the next one, bye bye for now.